In every emergency situation, time is precious. The period between when an accident occurs and when the victim is able to get first medical attention can mean the difference between life and death for the victim. Furthermore, the actions or inactions of first responders could cost the victim his life. Here are some steps you can follow in the event of an emergency. Before administering care to an ill or injured person, observe the scene and the person. Try to deduce the following. Is the scene safe to enter? What happened? How many people are involved? Does the victim have any life-threatening conditions such as severe bleeding? Is anyone else available to help? If the victim is awake and responsive and there is no severe life-threatening bleeding, contact emergency services and get a first aid kit. Obtain consent. Tell the person your name, describe your type and level of emergency training, if any. Use appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE. Put on gloves, if available. Interview the person. Gather more information about the patient, like name, age, contact of family members, and event leading up to the incident. Check head and neck, shoulders, chest and abdomen, hips, leg and feet arms and hands for signs of injury. Provide care consistent with knowledge and training according to the conditions you find. If the person appears unresponsive, shout to get the person's attention using the person's name if it is known. If there is no response, tap the person's shoulder if the person is an adult or child or the bottom of the person's foot if the person is an infant and shouts again while checking for normal breathing. Check for responsiveness and breathing for 5 to 10 seconds. When the person starts breathing, contact emergency services. Conduct a head-to-toe check. Roll the person onto his or side into a recovery position if there are no obvious signs of injury. If the person is not breathing, Ensure that the person is face up on a firm, flat surface. If you are trained, begin cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, starting with compression. Continue administering CPR until the person exhibits signs of life, such as breathing, or until EMS or trained medical respondents arrive on scene. End CPR if the scene becomes unsafe or if you cannot continue due to exhaustion. Lives can be saved with the provision of adequate care at the scene of an accident. Bystanders can help to save lives by contacting emergency care units and performing simple first responder actions until professional help arrives. By administering immediate care during an emergency, you can help an ill or injured person before the arrival of the emergency medical services and you may be able to help save a life.